Avengers 5 might have the Hulk as a villain, and this theory is actually not making me angry. What's up, Comic Book Nation? BD here with a popular theory going around for Avengers 5, which claims the Hulk will be the villain who brings Earth's mightiest heroes together again on the big screen. First of all, whichever villain does make the Avengers come together again for a fifth movie is a hero in my eyes, just for getting the band back together. Avengers 5 for now is just an idea. There's no word on when Marvel Studios will drop another ensemble film. I even tried to get some details about it from Kevin Feige at San Diego Comic-Con last summer, but he deflected like a boss. Among the announcements, there wasn't uh, like an, uh, what we would refer to now as like an event, an ensemble movie where all the heroes come together, where it's like an Avengers title. Uh, is there still plans for those in the future? And why, why didn't we hear anything today? Well, we got a Falcon and Winter Soldier show. We got a WandaVision show. We're introducing Monica Rambeau in that WandaVision show. Uh, uh, Wanda Maximoff, uh, who is probably, you know, near the upper echelons of power. Uh, uh, I, I, I contend she would have taken down Thanos if he hadn't called the uh, the. Uh, she, oh, she had him. Yeah, right, it was yeah. done. So her being the Scarlet Witch now, as Lizzie said on stage in full full uh, 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 sort of unabashed power base, coming into. The Doctor Strange movie, that, that, is, that is two heroes coming together in a fun way. So whenever this next Avengers movie does come, and it will, it is inevitable. Inevitable. The Hulk could end up being the bad guy based on a theory posted to Reddit by a user named Smile I'm High. First of all, that person's name is something to be admired, and I believe it to be a very honest name. Anyway, Smile I'm High is combining the events of Avengers Endgame and a Marvel comic story to suggest old Hulk is the next big bad. Here's how the theory starts. After Avengers Endgame, Hulk starts to get really salty about Tony Stark being praised for saving the world and sacrificing himself when really it was the Hulk who snapped his fingers and brought everybody back to life. It's a moment many of us overlook as well. We're fans, we don't really give the Hulk that much credit. Right down to Hawkeye's wife being brought back to life and having cell phone service in the middle of that farm to call him, but also for Clint to never have cut that line off in the first place and paid five years worth of phone bills. I don't, I don't know how that's related, but I just wanted to get that out. Anybody else think about that? Anyway, it was the Hulk who snapped his fingers and endured the effects of the Infinity Stones to bring everyone back to life, but in this theory, everyone is overlooking that. Pair that anger or jealousy, whatever you want to call it, in being overshadowed by Tony Stark with the death of his love interest, Natasha Romanoff, and the Hulk might not be too happy with his pals. They didn't even give Natasha a funeral. Hulk just had to throw a bench, and if you ask director Joe Russo, that bench landed on the Punisher. Now, this is where the World War Hulk story from Marvel Comics comes into play. In the comic book story, the Hulk is banished from Earth. The Illuminati, a group which included Doctor Strange and Iron Man at the time, are among those who cast Hulk out and send him to the cosmos in a big old rocket ship. The big green monster loses his wife while jetting off the planet because that rocket ship explodes, prompting a fiery rage within him directed at those who sent him away. After spending some time on Sakaar, Hulk has become stronger and heads back to Earth to exact revenge with new allies, like Korg. Of course, the problem here is that in the MCU, the Hulk already cast himself out after Avengers Age of Ultron, where everyone got mad at him, and he spent a bunch of time on Sakaar already before and during Thor Ragnarok. Plus, Korg is a good guy, so he probably wouldn't want to fight the Avengers, including Thor. He can't even handle fighting the kids on Fortnite. Thor, he's back. That kid on the TV just called me a dickhead again. So here's where I'm at with this, because news is slow and theories are fun, and I particularly like this one and the idea of Hulk being turned against Earth, even if just for a little while. I don't think Hulk will be a villain in Avengers 5, and definitely not the main villain, even if a version of this does come to life just like Planet Hulk was in Thor Ragnarok. There is no solo Hulk movie in development because Marvel Studios can't make a solo Hulk movie. Those rights are owned by Universal, so Marvel can only put Hulk in movies, not in titles. Hulk actor Mark Ruffalo, though, has several times over teased involvement in the upcoming She-Hulk series on Disney+, Plus, which would only make sense that he's there, and if that's true, it's only a matter of time until he spoils the whole thing. Everybody dies. Do, 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 do. do. Not everybody. No. I, for one, wouldn't mind Mark Ruffalo doing some press and giving us some insight into what's coming. Perhaps as Jennifer Walters develops her She-Hulk powers, Ruffalo's Hulk will become unhinged in the aftermath of Avengers Endgame and ultimately lead to a war on his home planet against his former friends. It seems like a bit of a stretch for now, but did you see the way Professor Hulk was looking at Captain America when he sent him back in time? I'm just kidding. There's really nothing there. 
If anything, it's just America's ass. How are you supposed to look at it? Sure, some of the seeds for these stories to grow are already planted, like Natasha dying, and there's another opportunity for a character to get mad at Tony Stark for taking credit, and then they become a villain. They're all in place, but it can definitely use a bit of extra work in its lead up to make any sense, really. We want this story to feel organic because the idea of a World War Hulk story being the reason for an Avengers 5, or at least a subplot in such a movie, is an exciting thought for Marvel Comics fans. We want it to be good. Let's not rush. Do you want to see the Hulk unleashed on the Avengers with an army of space allies? Who do you think should be the next big Avengers movie villain? Share your thoughts in the comments section or send them my way on Instagram at Brandon Davis Beatty. And if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notifications because we're working hard to make great content. We want you to watch it and we read your comments. So drop them, drop your suggestions. We are real people and we read what you say. Sometimes, unfortunately. For more, head over to comicbook.com slash Marvel. I'm Beatty. I'll see you there.